Hi everybody, welcome to Cindy Loves Jewelry, and I am coming to you to bring you a massive haul. <laughs> massive. I bought four lots, I'm sorry, I should have done all this before I got started. I bought four lots on eBay, and uh, I just wanted to show you what I got. And that's not... This isn't part of the lot, but I'm going to show you this. This is a uh, brooch I got a while back that I repaired. And uh, it had some missing stones. It has all different colored green stones. And that is a green stone down there. It looks really dark, but it is, when you look at it, it looks green, but it just is darker than the other ones. So, anyway, so I've been working on that. So, um, I'm going to start here. These are things that were not my favorites or were not things that I will probably resell. If you hear dogs barking, the dogs are barking outside. I have dogs that live all around me. I don't have a dog, but dogs that live all around me. The big one next door, his name is Bubba. And he comes to the fence and jumps up on it and I pet him. He's a good boy. Anyway, I have this bolo. And uh, it's not signed. It's cute. I'll probably list it. And here we go. Let's get started. These were, there were four of these boxes. And uh, the lady put them all in one larger box, medium sized box to save me shipping. And so, anyway. So, I, when I saw this in the, um, in the pictures, I thought this was metal. But it's not. This is... A gold leathery thing and these are these are metal and this is metal and those are rhinestones but uh, anyway so I am more than likely going to save this for costume department for drama team at church so I thought it was cool um, just a bracelet that is probably just a regular bagel and somebody threaded beads and with ribbon and wound it on this here I'm going to go fast here this here is a really cool pendant, but it's strung on ribbon, so more than likely I'm going to take the pendant off and do it. Now, this is very interesting, <laughs> and uh, I, I'm laughing as I say that, so you got to know my sense of humor. They look like woven picnic plates that you put in a picnic box, uh, put your uh, uh, paper plates in, but they're little little gold and silver very different very very different um did not want to do that okay sorry a little purple eyeglass holder i do mystery bags for the um flea market booths so some of this will go in mystery bags and it does smell like smoke but the lady that i bought this from uh, her listings say specifically that she does not smoke, but that she buys from estate sales and all different kinds of other places, yard sales and just all kinds of places, and so they could possibly smell of smoke. So um, they really did real bad, especially anything that has cloth. And this is just a cloth corded necklace, and it's got some really beautiful beads on it. I don't know if I'm going to harvest the beads or if I'm going to add it to a mystery bag. This is a really pretty bracelet. Just they're plastic beads. Stretchy. Really pretty. Some cheap bangles. And you know I did not check any of these bangles. Oops. And they're all magnetic. So just cheap bangles. Anyway, trying to fold this down. Uh, this is a corded black, uh, faceted plastic bead. This little bracelet is cool. <coughs> it's stretched. There's rhinestones in the middle. For a grouping of four little rhinestones, it's stretchy. Then this bead, or whatever it is, is gold tone with a faux leather piece in it and it's really different excuse me I got the hiccups 
this is a just a little beaded gold and black beads um this they tell me i don't know because i've never seen the movie but they tell me that this is from the hunger games and it's got the anyway the infinity symbol and then this i don't know i've never seen it don't have any interest in it so now one of the girls when she looked at this today one of my friends she said oh that looks like hawaii so that's really cool and the texture of that is very interesting it's almost like it's rubber so very interesting i'm trying to move fast um cat's eye stretch beads plastic uh two little dangles bronze colored necklace no signature i'm trying to get the little dangles up so you can see them there we go oh be still beads just beads they're plastic nothing spectacular much stuff in here okay this is a Chinese symbol more than likely the metal is pewter and I have a whole bunch of and this right here did not come in the slot I remember what it is um, it was the chain that my necklace was strung on and then it was too short and I found a longer chain in the lot so I took the chain <laughs> okay this is cool it is a bunch of strands of little pearlies and little spikes, little black spikes, like um, almost hematite colored spikes, but they're not hematite. A black and pink necklace, very nice. A uh, imitation leather cord rhinestone necklace that is missing a bunch of rhinestones. And it will more than likely go in my jug down here for that I collect rhinestones in. Santa Claus. Only Santa Claus really don't have a gray beard here, does he? It's a little weird. And he's smoking a pot. What a bad example. <laughs> okay, this one is crazy. Like, all the necklace part of it is all these bazillion chains are just knotted and messed. And, um, they're not magnetic. The heart is not magnetic, but the heart, you can see the finish is worn off of the heart. The, uh, huh. The only thing that's magnetic is the chain that has the, sp the, the spring, the, the, uh, latch with the spring. So, anyway, and... I don't know what this is from neither. I don't know if it's from something or if it's just anyway. Oh, bonus hair. Look. Bonus hair. Okay, it has a dove and and beads. So okay. Okay. That was the stuff that I was in about. So out of four boxes, I have almost a box full of stuff. That I was ant about. I can live with that because I can still use it. It's not it's not a loss. It will go in as filler for mystery bags. It will go on dollar boards. It will just go. So this one here is the good one. So I've got three boxes of good stuff. Now this seller always includes a special item that is in a bag that is marked and this one here is it says vintage sterling silver turquoise pendant now I can't find and but I, I do want to say I've not looked at this real close but I cannot find where it says that it's sterling anywhere it does not stick to a magnet I do believe that these are turquoise chips around it not sure about the middle stone but it is really really pretty and this right here is the reason I bought that lot. So, anyway. Okay. 
I'm just going to go and go fast. Big, hunkin', chunky chain. No markings on it. Big. <laughs> we actually had quite a life about it because we are very rural, rural and people's delight. A log chain. <laughs> so, anyway. This piece right here was why I bought the lot that it was in. It is an Avon Cameo. And I'm going to show you another Cameo that was not part of these lots, but I bought today at the flea market that I was visiting and working in today. And it don't want to show there. The light is really bad for it. So it's just a little blue Cameo. It's not signed either. Anyway, this one is signed Avon. So, a little enamel bangle. I like this. And I normally don't like any kind of wire necklaces, but this is cute. Uh, it's just uh, open work, and it says journey on it. We're all on a journey, people. This is a nice choker, but it doesn't stay fastened. I can't get it to stay fastened. So, I may have to work on it. Anyway, I can't get it to stay fastened. So, beautiful, beautiful cuff bracelet that... Looks like a belt buckle slides up in there. Really shiny. Really pretty. This is vintage. You can just tell by looking at it. It's one of those beaded necklaces that it, it uh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't have it up high enough. Anyway, it's peach and pink. It's kind of got a sheen on it that makes it almost have an AB finish. Okay. I know I'm going fast. I'll tell you if things are marked. So far, nothing's been marked. It's just a little stone and it twists. And it is highly magnetic. Oops. See Daisy. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm pulling up a website. There we go. This is really pretty. These are shells, um, different beads. They feel like they are maybe glass beads, but the shells are real shells. It's strung, it's gold, it's strung on a leather. There's nothing there. Okay, Let's see what I see. Okay, I know you recognize it. There we go. And I'm pulling this up because... Oops. Of course you picked the one. There we go. That I didn't want. Okay. Let me make sure because I'm looking at the tag. Make sure that it's not... Okay. I want to make sure because I want to make sure that it's not okay. I should have looked this up and I'm pretty sure that I know what this is not. <laughs> no matter what the tag says, I know what it is not. Do that. Okay. Let me see that. Okay. Maybe that's not what I thought it was. Okay. Maybe not. Hmm. Let's just go back in here. I hate doing this in front of y'all. I'm sorry. Okay. Show you it. It's just gold. It's... It's marked... Let's see if I can get you to see this tag. 
is marked with interlocking C's like what I thought the Chanel mark was but it may be a Charming Charlie tag so I'm not sure if it's Charming Charlie okay. this one here will be one of the ones that will be a money maker for me it is um, just little white plastic beads silver big chain it's marked See if I can get it to show. It is marked Park Lane. So, it. I will sell it for probably over $20. Something hung from that, but I didn't see anything that looked like it should be there. And so, more than likely, I'm going to take that chain off because the necklace is absolutely gorgeous. It reminds me of Delft. That blue and white, it just, it's really pretty. So, and no markings. The chain is really pretty. And it is magnetic. Okay, let's see if I can get this out of the way. This is really fun and noisy. It is a Christmas bell, Christmas necklace. It comes from Kohl's. It still has the tag on it. It was... $20. No, $16. I'll save it for Christmas. This is a really... Oops, I just dumped something in the floor. This is a really cute silver tone heart. It is magnetic. The heart is not magnetic. The, the uh, silver tone. Purse charm. Cute, cute, cute purse charm. I will be putting that on. I have a purse that is orange so I think that will go really cool on it so put that on my purse I dropped something I'm sorry I hate to do this but okay. Mm. okay this and this is gonna be hard to probably tell this is one of those um, crocheted beaded necklace they were very popular in the 70s. I remember some of my cousins wearing them. Anyway, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I like this. It's not marked. It looks like something you would get at Charmin' Charlie. Um, it's cute. It'll sell. Whether it sells in a flea market or in online. More than likely it'll go on the flea market because it's not something I would put online. I am going to I see what happened. See exactly what happened. Uh huh, 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 huh. I see what happened. I couldn't figure out why this wouldn't fasten back. Now I know. I don't know. It's this red, isn't it? Do he in there? Probably gonna have to. There you snuck in. There we go. Oh, tell me I didn't. I did. I put you in backwards. Hmm. Okay. I don't have time to mess with that, not and make my video. I'm sorry. This is a little purse necklace, and it does go down. the the little The little magnet it opened, and so the little magnet had come loose. And there we go. And um, there. That's how it needs to go. So that's how I need to get it in there. Anyway, I'll have to get it glued back in. I didn't realize it had just fallen out there. Now, there. It's open now. It's closed now. That is so stinking cute. And I got that. That's why I bought that lot. And that will be staying with me. It is mine. My hair is all wonky today. So, the. It's. This is cool. They look like 
dyed halite, gold, the gold veins. Um, oh, I see a copper bracelet. Now I realize what my friends were saying earlier to me today. They said something. Um, let's see. This one here has a Chico's tag on it. And when I pulled it out, I thought, oh, that looks like Chico's. But it don't didn't say Chico's on the back here. And normally, all of Chico's says it has it on the back here. But it did not say it there. So, okay. Remember the paper plate napkins? Here's some earrings that looks a lot like them. But these are cooler. I really like them. Uh... A little penguin, I believe he is. A little penguin with a little pearly belly. Cute. And trying to pull this out all without finding it. There's the other paper plate napkin earring. Um, these are really pretty. And uh, they're old. I mean, they're vintage. They're not old, old. But the beads are painted, have painted on them. They're really cool. And then there's metal beads. They have a spring ring. So they're vintage. Okay. Just a gold link necklace. A lot of this was not marked. But it's nice, pretty nice quality things. So, anyway. That's cute. It's got, it's got shell in it. And then it's just... Plastic beads, woven plastic beads on a coppery colored chain. Okay. Oh no, he got broke today when we're looking at him. So, it's okay. It was just a heart. So we'll put him in there. Okay, this one is signed and it is signed something Renee. Cecile Renee. Cecile. No, Cecile. Jean. Cecile Jean. Has a dove with a fat and then has the Cecile Jean. I don't know if it's just an. I don't know if it's just. Maybe it's just a bracelet that was personalized. I don't know. I have to look it up. I haven't looked it up. It's just enamel. That's cool. It really is cool. So, this is a little stone bracelet. Okay. I asked this question earlier today. I don't know how you say it. Do you say damascene or damascene? Anyway, these are damascene earrings. They're clipped. They are not signed. And they are magnetic. So, and I don't know that they're, I can feel the carving in them. I can feel that it's etched in there, probably laser etched. But anyway, very, very neat. I like them. They're pretty. Mm -hmm. So, okay guys, we may only get through one of these for this video. So, those are pretty little chandelier blue beaded earrings. These are a flower earring with a great big rhinestone. This here is a faux turquoise earring. These here are red, I believe they're red stone. Red or a brown stone. They look like deep, deep red, like garnet. And they are Avon, signed Avon on the clasp. There's the other flower earring, the other, <coughs> sorry, faux turquoise hook fish hook earring, and these are neat, they're just little white and amber colored beaded fish hook earrings, and they're both here, I'm fastening them back together, so, anyway. And these are really cute. Really, really cute. And they're in a plastic bag. And I haven't checked them for any markings, but more than likely, they are 925 silver. Yeah. 
Okay, there's a thing right there that is not 925. But I bet the earring part of that is 925. That right there is not the little thing that goes. Anyway, that's a pierced earring with a little marbleized pearl thing. So. so, what is the weather like where you guys are? You had a cold weekend and abnormally cold. We had freeze warnings for Arkansas, middle of April, which is, I mean, our actual frost date is April the 15th, so that was Sunday, but we had freeze warnings several days over the weekend, and then, um, anyway, so, okay, I just, I just put myself holding my breath, so. okay, I'm going to finish this row, my thing has three rows, I'm going to finish this row, and then I'm going to do another video for the other one, okay? So, this is a little grand piano tap pan. It's really cute. This one here is a pair of angel wings tap pens. This here is a pair of, we decided this was an owl, a pair of owl earrings, and they are signed, but I could not read them. Every time lately that I've looked through my glass, it makes my eyes hurt really bad. I don't know. I don't know what it says. Anyway, I have to do some research. This is a little snowman pan. And he can go up there in the box. This throat is not signed it's just like a woven wreath this is pretty it too is not signed and it is riveted and it is it's just big and blingy it is so pretty there's no rhinestones in it these are kind of cool they're um little I don't know what you call it. Egyptian mummy heads. Egyptian something head. What is that thing that they bury them in? Anyway, a trumpet. Not marked. A pair of red slippers. Enameled with rhinestones. A really pretty S pen. Not marked. A wishbone pin. Not marked. A angel pin that does have a marking that I can't make out. It's angel, and it is not. I was gonna say it's not enameled. It's just all angel, but it it picks up reflections. It's reflected in the black off of my shirt. This one here is marked, and I can't remember what it said. I'll peek. Uh, oh yeah, it says LF. I don't I don't recognize LF. It's Christmas. It's a rocking horse. Um uh, love this little owl. And again, not marked. Loving, loving, loving. He's adorable. Cute, 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 cute owl. So this we decided is like a mother's brooch because it hangs there. Each star has a little different birthstone color in it. It's interesting. Really interesting, but anyway. Okay. So, okay. This here is a piece that will help pay for it all. It is a necklace. It's got a pearl in it. It's a basket with a pearl in it like a I don't know anyway a, a, probably a faux pearl it is signed Joan Rivers and the one piece of Joan Rivers that I've had sold pretty fast and it sold for good money so anyway so I'm going to stop this video here and I'm going to um, edit it and then get it loaded so thanks everybody for watching and have a great day bye